Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we will be analyzing Batman Arkham Asylum. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I'm not going to be talking about everything in full because there's other retrospectives on YouTube that actually talk about everything in full. Um, example, Always Nerdy, go check him out, he has some good ones. But what I mean is I just want to discuss what makes Arkham Asylum so great, but simplified. So from story, to the audio, to the gameplay, etc. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. Story. We won't go into the entire story of Arkham Asylum, so I'll make it simple and talk about the major events. Batman takes Joker in, Joker escapes, Batman chases Joker through the intensive treatment, fights a titan, starts tracking Gordon, goes to the medical building, saves doctors, fights Scarecrow, saves Gordon, fights Bane, goes to mansion, finds Dr. Young's formula, fights Scarecrow again, saves Dr. Young, Dr. Young dies, starts tracking Sharp, goes to the penitentiary, saves Sharp, fights Harley, goes to the botanical gardens, fights Joker, er, finds Joker, Pfft. my bad. Finds Joker, fights more Titans, visits Harley. I fucking wrote that wrong in the script, God damn it! Visits Poison Ivy, fights Scarecrow again again, runs away from Croc, defeats Croc, fights Poison Ivy, goes to the Joker's party, fights more Titans, Joker infects himself with Titan, we fight Titan Joker, end. Boom. <sighs> Good. Alright. That's just the simplified version of it, but... You know, that's all we really need, because I don't really want to talk about the story too much. But I want to start getting into... Gameplay and innovation. Now, we all know how much Arkham paved the way, not just for future Arkham games, but for future games as a whole. Now, how is this? Well, many games had kind of the a combat system like Arkham... But no game really ever got as close as Arkham Asylum did. Arkham Asylum perfected the free flow combat system and also made a really good stealth system. However, we know that the best gameplay in the Arkham series and just as a whole was yet to come. And this was also just a massive improvement over previous Batman titles, such as Batman Dark Tomorrow is just one example as it fixed the combat, the camera angles, the exploration, gadgets, voice work, everything of something like Batman Dark Tomorrow. And that's only just some of the things that it did. Audio. The audio of Arkham Asylum is really something. Now, I don't even know what all to talk about, so I'll just get right into it. First off... The ambience. Need I say more? Moving on, the sound that plays when gliding, the various gadget sounds, And just all the other various sound effects that they put into this game. And all the incredible music that I cannot play because of copyright. Uh, plus, let's not forget the voice cast. Because without them, this game would not be nearly as good as it is. With Kevin Conroy playing the Dark Knight himself. He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. Mark Hamill as the clown Prince of Crime. And Arlene Sorkin as the gesture of genocide. Oh, hiya, B-Man. Harley Quinn here. How do you like my new uniform? And just, you know, other voices that were put into this game. Though there were many more in the future games. But, you know, that, that, that might be for another video. Atmosphere. Everyone knows the, you know, stereotype that a Batman Arkham Asylum has the best atmosphere. But this is pretty much true, honestly. Because I don't know how Rocksteady managed to make this good of a game with all the innovation that it has. That would have taken all that time 
and still make one of the best atmospheres in the entire Arkham games. It honestly amazes me just how good this game can truly look at most times. Like, if you just stand still, like you saw back in the um, audio section where I was showing the ambience, it looked so good. And honestly, the Return to Arkham version is just amazing. Like, it looks amazing, at least to me. But I've also found myself with amazed with the graphics, even for the 360 and PS3 versions. They still look great. But one thing I feel like carries the Return to Arkham is um, Infinite Rain. So, yeah, the rain looks fucking amazing. Cut content. There is lots of cut content, generally all throughout the Arkham series, and Arkham Asylum is no different. Such as the cut lighthouse and then the scrapped original bat suit. There is just so much cut content that is honestly really interesting. And if you want more of these cut content from Asylum, I have a whole video on it. Plus other people's as well. Okay, I'll be honest, chat. Why the fuck? Uh, I said chat like I'm live and I'm not live. Viewers. I have a whole video on it. This section was literally just meant to kind of promote that video because uh, I worked really hot on it. It's got Blue Knight. Go check it out. Conclusion. Well, that's it for me. If you guys want me to do another video like this, but perhaps on Arkham City or just any of the other games, let me know, and I'll think about it, but maybe not because this one was a pain to fucking edit. So, um, yeah, that was, that's, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe, please. I, I, I beg of you. Um, I'll see you all later. Have a goddamn good day. Bye.